Hi everyone, today I want to talk about a 1933 movie called Lapping Airs. And this is a German movie, it's directed by Max Ophels. Uh, this is the second movie he made, uh, and it was for Ufa Studios. Uh, and I know nothing about German cinema after the silent era, next to nothing, uh, up until uh, maybe the 1980s, um, 1970s at least. But um, so I was surprised. This is a fast-paced, amusing comedy, uh, and it um, it also features, I, I guarantee, is going to be the best performance by a dog of any uh, Blu-ray released in 2022, Rolf the Dog, and he's, he's a large dog, uh, dark-haired, and he steals every scene he's in in this film. <laughs> the setup is a... Uh, a wealthy uh, wine brewery owner dies. Uh, the relatives gather for the um, for the reading of the will, and uh, they're they're not drinkers, so uh, their their uh, money is invested in mineral water. So they, their intention is to sell it off and get all the money they can, uh, sell off the brewery. But there's the bad sheep in the relative uh, in this group of relatives, a nephew of the brewery owner who died. And he has worked for his uncle, and he gets the inheritance only if he can not uh, uh, touch a drop of alcohol for the next 30 days. Well, of course, all kinds of complications <laughs> uh, revolve out of that kind of setup with the relatives, you know, trying everything they, they can do, the other relatives to try to get him to drink. And they're further complicated by that he's, he's, he's in love with the daughter of the rival brewery. And we're along the Rhineland um, um, uh, in small town. In a small town on the Rhineland, we get a, a pretty good documentary. The exteriors were filmed there, it's sort of a documentary look of what the uh, the wine country in in um, uh, along the Rhine uh, uh, looked like. And uh, the 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 this nephew is played by Heinz Heinz Brunen, and he was a big star in Germany uh, for decades. Um, his career straddled the Nazi era. He was never a Nazi, but he was uh, uh, he was uh, friends with Goebbels. Uh, he knew Hitler, um, but he, his career he didn't seem to suffer after the war. Um, he was also uh, a singer, uh, very popular, and in fact, um, and he's sort of an everyman. He's sort of like uh, you, you know, maybe sort of comp 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 comparable to uh, Jack Lemmon. His photo, he was so popular, his photo was found in Anne Frank's hiding place um, and is still on the wall if you go to visit uh, that in, uh, in, in Amsterdam. And as I say, the exteriors were, were filmed uh, in a small town on the Rhine and it, it, you know, very, uh, it, it is very evocative. Uh, but 1933 was the era where Hitler comes to power. We see no signs of Nazism in this in this film, which you can't help feeling it. And certainly, when you listen to the commentary, you find out that many in the cast and the crew were Jewish, and they had to, like Max Ophels, they had a, a they had to escape. Um, Ruman, Heinz Ruhmann himself was married to uh, uh, his wife was half Jewish. He he divorced her, but he managed to get her to safety in Norway where he continued to support her. And then his second wife was only a quarter Jewish, and for some reason, you know, however these madmen <laughs> algorithms that they used, uh, she, she uh, passed the muster. Um, so, uh, and this small town also had a, a significant Jewish population, and we learned that by the late 30s, all of them had either escaped or they were had been sent to the uh, prison camp at Dachau. Um, but uh, to get back to the fun part of this, uh, this is just, if you have a historical context, the 1933 Germany, you can't help but thinking about these things. And, but it, but uh, it's, it's uh, uh, an unusual film for Max Ophels because we have a male-centered uh, uh, character. Um, and we don't really, at least on the first watch, I didn't notice any of his, Max Olfos' famous tracking shots, his crane shots. But then when you rewatch it with the commentary, and of course the, com the commentary points out, yeah, look at Olfos doing a tracking shot here, a tracking shot there. He didn't like the movie. Uh, 
you know, this was not his, I think he just came on to it to direct it, but he, he directed it beautifully. I mean, like I say, it was very fast paced and it was, um, um, you know, very well photographed. Uh, the producer, getting back to the Nazi theme, the producer of this film, even though most of the cast and crew were Jewish, um, he was a dyed in the wool Nazi. And um, so he was safe, but uh, so many of the other ones, and, and the, the, this, the, the, the main female star, uh, Lean Dyers, she, Dyers, she uh, managed to escape to, to the U.S. in the late 30s, uh, where she never acted, she never acted anymore, but she, she had been in some significant movies throughout the 1930s. Um, and uh, I mentioned the commentary, this is by Anthony Slide, and he gives it just a, an amazing, uh, detailed and you know his love he, he he in the beginning of the commentary he says i usually do silent movies but i have a real love for uh, german movies he says it's uh, you know <laughs> something he has to tell people it's my guilty pleasure i like these uh these german uh films and uh, kino lorber this is a kino classic but kino lorber is 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 uh, is starting to mine this area this um, this era of films because Later this month, in February 22, it's releasing a double feature from Douglas Sirk, some, two of his, um, his uh, uh, films made in Germany in the 1930s, and also a film by Robert C. Adnock, a 1930 film. He, too, Jewish, and had to, um, you know, came to Hollywood and made some, uh, uh, you know, some of the most, uh, uh, most long-lasting film noirs uh, of all time. And, uh, and then it's also, they're also going to release a film uh, that he made, Robert Siebenach made in the, um, in the 1950s because he was one of the few of the Jewish immigrants who came to Hollywood and had success, who actually went back to Germany to make some films. So overall, very interesting for me to, uh, to uh, uh, acquaint myself with what filmmaking was like in the, in the early 1930s in, in Germany and it's a very funny film. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot for everybody who managed to listen. They do appreciate it. Comments would be welcome. You guys take care.